I woke up this morning somewhere out here in West Texas. Not really sure. Anyways, we're going caving today. My first experience to go repelling. We're dropping into a 50 foot cave. Super stoked. Right on. <laughs> So you're a long time grottoer, Sarah? No, dude. <laughs> no, this is like my first time. You haven't been out here? No. I, uh, um, so, it's an interesting silly story. I met Bev and Jonathan. You know Bev and Jonathan? Uh, uh Bev, yeah. Yeah, they're super fucking cool. <laughs> a little Ollie. Uh -huh. They have become good friends of mine because I was kind of dating slash hanging out with this guy I met on Tinder that was <laughs> And nice. he was like, oh, I got these really cool people you should meet. Yeah. And then she liked to do fun things. And I was like, all right. So I met Bev, and I've been hanging out with Bev and Jonathan, and I've since dumped that other guy's house. <laughs> so I just hang out with Bev and Jonathan. Yeah. Because <laughs> they're really fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, and then they introduced me to the grotto group. Sometimes so that's the way it happens. good for something, you know. Yeah. Good for can't, networking. <laughs> can't be hating on the Tinder. No, man. <laughs> Going into the cave entrance. It's warm in here. It's a lot warmer in here, actually. <laughs> here we go. Let's do it. <laughs> you guys are making some awesome progress. Well done. Yeah. Mud it over, it's all dead. It's not growing anymore. It's still fragile. Right on. Right? Straight up. So, yeah. Of course, columns. Um, right over there is the throne room where you can just like, lay back and look at the beautiful ceiling. Grace, have you ever made like cave inspired art? Um, I've made some photo photographs, yeah. Cool. Yeah. I hear I've, made, I've made some, some, uh, what do they call it? Woodcuts and stuff. That's really cool. <laughs> that looks like water has cleaned them right here. That's where the other entrance comes down. And so that other one is 30 feet, and this one's 50 feet. And so if y'all want to look down it, when you approach the lip, Lay down on your belly so you don't trip or anything. <laughs> That's so huge. <laughs> yeah, don't die. <laughs> they say we gotta get on our hands and knees so that we don't fall in. This thing's huge. <laughs> That's kind of like back in like the 70s, there were some kids that died in here. No, um, there was like a snake in the back seat, so they jumped out and their car rolled in, and that's where it is. And it's still got a snake nest in it, so we don't go near it. Their car yeah. fell in? Yeah. It's because they bailed out. Yeah, they bailed out for. I can only imagine. And then bailing out is what caused the car to fall. That's the car? Listen, hey. Everyone. When we get When we get down here on the bottom, right under the got migrated here by birds from Mexico, so don't step on the ferns. Like, be aware of the plant life underneath this entrance whenever
whenever you repel down. Don't step on the ferns. A pumpkin cave. About to drop into this thing. All these patient cavers trying to get inside the cave. Super pumped. Did you guys belay me? I did. I was there to belay you if you needed it, but I didn't ever do it. Oh, cool. Thanks. You got this, buddy. Yo. Pump the brain. Just bones. So it's either a deer or a goat, and you can tell by the shape of the two condoms. Feeling awesome.